By now, you must have got lot of interest to see a real automation example using UiPath Studio. In this video agenda, we are going to learn open browser using UiPath Studio. For example, if I ask you to open google.com and type something. So how to do that? Let's see in this example. Now for this, the very first thing I will do is click on the activities tab. So let me click on the activities tab and in the activities tab, because I'll have to open a browser, I will type browser and there will be an activity called use application browser, drag and drop this activity. Okay. The moment you do it, it automatically encapsulate this activity within the sequence. Okay. You can also name the sequence. For example, I would like to name it to open browser automation. Okay. Done. Now here, let me first indicate the application I would like to automate. For that, keep your browser open. Let's say I would like to automate in Google Chrome. I should keep it open. Go back to Yapa Studio and click on indicate application and it's going to prompt you something like this. Okay. So click on any blank space. I'm going to click here. The moment I click, it is asking me, you need to install, enable the UiPath extension for Chrome. And all you have to do, simply click on install and wait for few seconds. Now you get a prompt. If you want to continue installing the UiPath extension for Chrome, please close all your Chrome process and click OK. Let's do that. Let me close the Chrome and I'm going to click on OK. Chrome browser process are still running. Do you want to force close it? Say OK. Now finally you will get a prompt. The UiPath extension for Chrome was successfully installed for the current user. So you need to, you need to enable the browser extension by navigating to the Chrome extension. So click on OK on this. Now open the browser. On your browser, you find there is a icon called extension. Click on that. And then here click on manage extensions. Okay. So here one of the extension that you should find is UiPath web automation. What you do enable this and you are done. Let me open a new tab and close that tab. So I'm done. So my UiPath extension has been enabled and I can see that here it's enabled. Okay. Great. Go back to UiPath studio. Click on indicate application and I'm going to, you know, going to select. Now you can see this has appeared from orange or red color to a green color background. So that means it is working fine. Click on any of the blank space. So what is happening? It is automatically, it, it is saying Chrome, new tab and all that. Right. Now here in the, instead of this, you can type the URL. Let me remove this. Sometime it might also show you www.google.com if not. In the browser URL, let me type www.google.com. Simple. Okay. Whatever website you like to open, you can type it in the URL. What do you do? Close the browser before you try to run this automation. I'm going to hit on run. Okay. You can see it has automatically brought the google.com. Let's say I would like to type something here. So to type something, let me stop it. So first thing I have done is I have opened a browser. Just to show you as a test how it is working, you got a demo. Now in the do section of this activity, I am going to drag and drop few more. So I would like to type into, right? So I will simply say type or type into. So here I have an activity called type into. So it's quite drag and drop kind of a uh, tool, low code environment. So here I have dragged and dropped the type into activity. All right. Now here, where would you like to type? So click on indicate in Chrome. Target application could not be identified. Okay, click on okay. Let me try it again because I have closed it, right? www.google.com. So all you do, keep that page open. Okay, so this is where I would like to type, right? So keep it open in the background. Go back to studio, click on indicate, select the portion where you would like to type. Okay, the green kind of a signal should come. So I'm going to double click on it. Okay, so automatically it will learn where exactly it should type. So you can see a lot of things has automatically been captured. All you have to do hit on confirm. Okay, it's validating. So confirm. 
Now type here what would you, what exactly you would like to type. For example, I would like to type uh, Bengaluru temperature. I would like to see the temperature. So I am going to type it here. Now empty field before typing yes. Click before typing single click. Okay, that's all. Now let's debug this and see how this one is going to work. Before you debug, ensure you are closing the browser so everything would start from the beginning. So the automation has started and you can see the google.com has been opened and the next thing it should do is it should type Bangalore temperature. Okay, so it has typed Bangalore temperature but did it show any kind of a result? No, it has even closed the browser. Now to control this, okay, if it is not stopping automatically you can manually also stop it here. Now what happened? There are two things happened. The browser got auto closed. So all you do click on the property that could be here somewhere here on your Yapa studio. I have kept it on my left side. So here what I'm going to do, it should not automatically close, right? So I should look for the property of this activity um, where I'm trying to open google.com. So here if you see close, there is a, a property called close and here I would say close never. So it should not close it. Done. Now the next thing is it should hit on enter. Right after typing, it should hit on enter. So all I do, click on this drop down, and I'm going to select enter. Getting it? Now if I run it, before you run, ensure you're closing the browser, so that will start from the beginning. So the automation has started again. And you can see it has opened google.com and now it should type Bangalore temperature and hit enter. Do you see it has hit enter and the browser did not close and I can see the temperature. So this is the agenda of the video. Let's continue on to our next video.